Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jeremiah Craig and I got a short video here for you today. We're gonna be talking about conditioning Puruku fish skin leather. I know a lot of you guys have requested information on that, so I'm gonna make this really short and sweet. But first things first, these are Blackjack Puruku boots. You can check out the video for that above. And if you guys are interested in getting blackjack boots or some other brands, you can head on over to timsboots.com and you can get 10% off when you use my code JeremiahCraig1 at checkout. You can also get BIC4 there, which is the leather conditioner that I will be using in this video. First things first on your Piruku boots, you're gonna wanna brush all the dust and extra stuff off that uh, might have just been deposited there through just regular wear. So just brush them off because I got some dirt here. Ew, that's gross, Jeremiah. And this fish skin is uh, is is a little bit more durable than you might expect. It's uh, pretty it's pretty thick actually, thicker than snake skin. I got the chance to look at some Piruku leather swatches, and if I get that chance again, I'll be sure to film it so that you guys can see how thick this leather is too. But uh, I just absolutely love this leather. It breathes so well. It's so soft. It's so supple, and uh, definitely something that you're gonna want to make sure you keep conditioned because uh, it's a beautiful leather that you don't want to see crack or end up getting old and nasty so thank you for requesting that uh, we do a video on conditioning the Piruku leather there we go and that's probably good enough now before you try any leather conditioner even if you see me use this big four on this Piruku or anything else on YouTube you see somebody using leather conditioner always test it out somewhere on the boot first so that you can see what will actually happen to your specific leather because uh, all leathers are different, really. I mean, they're all coming from different animals even though they're the same species, so you don't know. And the best place to test a leather conditioner is someplace a little bit inconspicuous. So if your Piruku boots have a little bit of extra Piruku overlay on the pull tabs. That's always a place that I like to test leather conditioners on the pull tabs. And if you don't have overlay on the pull tabs, someplace high on the counter here, uh, like at this little spot at the top of the counter, that's always a nice little place. I always like to test out uh, new conditioners on the back of boots if I don't have the opportunity to do it at the top, uh, just because usually the jeans will be covering that area if anything happens to go wrong. So just for this video's sake, I've already used Big 4 on these boots before, but just for this video's sake, um, to test it out, you're gonna just wanna put it on someplace inconspicuous that uses that leather. Is this a new bottle? It is, wow, look at me. Look at me go with this new conditioner and I didn't even know it. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Way to prepare for a video, Jeremiah. Get the uh, conditioner and put a little bit on there. New bottle, put on too much, that's me. So you just rub it in until it uh, kind of disappears and then you just let it sit there for a while. You could let it sit there overnight. You could let it sit there for a few hours and then come back to it. But usually, like maybe a half an hour, uh, it's probably pretty good. And after you do test that area, make sure you let it dry a little bit because it will darken the leather a little bit at first, but that's just because it's making the leather wet. Uh, once it dries, it should go back to the initial color like it does down here. So as you can see, it's still a little bit wet. This is the one that I just conditioned. So we're just gonna let it dry for a little bit longer. And then I'll show you guys that it'll be just fine to put on the rest of the boot. But that's something that you're gonna wanna test on your own specific boots before applying this everywhere. All right, so I just kinda lost track which boot that I conditioned, and I, I know it was this one now, looking really close at it. But uh, I think that's a pretty good sign uh, that I can start applying it to the rest of the boot. When you apply BIC4, you can use a rag, you can use plastic gloves if you want to. I just sort of uh, put a dollop on the boot and then rub it in with my hands. So uh, it, it's probably fine. There probably will be some people out there will be like, ooh, the chemicals. Do whatever you're comfortable with. So once you put it on there, just start uh, rubbing it around. And the thing with some of these Piruku, especially the inverted ones, is that the leather kind of goes under. You can kind of see how I can stick my finger kind of in that scale, right? So do that 
around with the conditioner. Make sure you get under under there because otherwise uh, that conditioner is just gonna reach that far. And be careful because uh, that is an area where the leather is just a little bit more fragile. So uh, you don't wanna be really digging in there and have it rip on you. Uh, so just be careful when you're doing that and continue uh, rubbing the conditioner into the boot. <clears throat> and for this video, we're just gonna do the vamp and the counter. I could use this conditioner on the goat, which is up top here. Uh, but uh, like I said, I, I think I conditioned these relatively recently and it doesn't really look like the tops need it at the moment. So I'm gonna pass on the tops. We're just gonna do the counter and the vamp. But again, do whatever you want. All right, all right. Looking good, looking conditioned. Let's go. I love Piruku leather. It is such a great leather. I know some of you guys are gonna ask how often you should condition your boots. Um, it really will depend on how often you wear them. Uh, you know, you might need to do it every three months or you might need to do it every nine months to 12 months. So uh, it really depends how often you wear them. Uh, does the leather feel dry? Does it feel kind of uh, stiff? Does it uh, feel like it needs some conditionings? It's like your skin, right? If your skin is looking dry, uh, you can tell. So the same thing happens to leather. So if it's looking that way, condition it. But you can over condition boots. So be careful, you don't wanna to condition too much, but you don't want them to get too dry either. So it's a nice balance that, uh, that you guys will eventually become comfortable with. It's just about looking at it, or you could remain on a schedule. If they've gone a year, then definitely a year is probably a good mark to be like, yes, you need to condition those now. Um, every year, definitely. Uh, more than that, it might depend on the leather, it might depend on the boots, and it might depend on how often you use them. And that's it, like, I'm done. So these are still a little bit wet, a little bit damp from the Big Four, but they'll dry up nice. And uh, I've already done this before to them, so I know that they dry uh, to the same color. That's what Big Four is great for. But again, you want to check every conditioner before you use it in an inconspicuous area on the boot, say the pull tab or the counter. So that's what I got. You guys got any questions or wanna add something else to this video that uh, will bring value to folks coming through? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet, and I will see you guys around. Peace. Take care of that fish, and it'll grant you a wish to last long so you can hand them down and every generation it fits. Yeah, all right. Yes, why don't you check out the video for those Piruku boots up here. Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Yeah. Peace. Have a good one.